Oh, she's this amazing. is great. Oh yeah. my god. So this is going to be. Can we get a picture of yeah, this? Right. Yeah, yeah. We'll come. We'd like to show us our people. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, the great thing is like this is now. It's going to be used. So look at this guy. Well, he's an alligator. And so what's really cool about this collection is Bill McClure put all this information on these cards. So this one says, found decomposed near junction of Collie Creek and Big Creek in San Jacinto County. Lewis and I came to the Houston Archaeological Society around 2000, right. just a little before 2000. And by that time, the collection had already been donated to Rice. Now, Bill McClure was an engineer, a civil engineer with textile. And during his lunch hour, he would go and pick up roadkill. And so he would actually process these skeletons in his backyard, and he had a permit to do this. So in 1981, we donated this collection, HAS donated this collection to Rice University. In 2020, um, Jeff Fleischer called us and said, look, we're building a new lab, we're bringing in these spectacular new professors, and what we'd like to do is own this collection outright. And so I met with the board and they were absolutely positive about it. We couldn't think of a better place for it to be. It's a huge transformation of this lab. This lab was perfectly functional for teaching, but doesn't have the nice bright light that we have now, which is critical when you're looking at archeological artifacts. Didn't have this nice, you know, workbench that we now have that all the students can sort of be sitting around the same table together. You wind up with that. Chun, chun, chun. And they've got, you know, drawers where they can kind of keep their materials. It's just so much more functional than it was before. The campus has, has expanded quite a bit since 1970. And uh, uh, it's just amazing to uh, see things and to see how it continues to go. You know, Rice has always been a premier school and uh, and they've tried to keep that reputation going. And so this is just one of those aspects that uh, keeps them at the top of the ranks. Old bones do need a nice place for work, right? And just, just even for teaching, like even just a fresh coat of paint makes a big difference, right? But like having so much light um, and so much space to work in is really great. Um, and our students are actively working on lots of archaeological projects around Houston, right? Like I mentioned, the Varner Hogg Plantation. Um, we've had students analyze materials from the Levi Jordan Plantation, so they're very involved with local historical archaeology. Um, and it's great that they can do that field work and then be doing the research for their, their thesis or their capstone project here. It's been really encouraging to see that the department and the university is really supporting um, my major and the archaeology concentration. It's always hard sometimes to find other people in your major just because of the nature of the classes. A lot of other majors are really interested in anthropology classes. Um, so it's really encouraging to see that the university like really cares so much about this space and this discipline.